All right, what's up? I'm Charm City 187. Uh, this is the Prepare to Take Maryland Facebook page I made. Uh, I put up a video the other day, but I only left it up for about 20 minutes because you could barely hear me talking. So um, today, Maryland legislature voted on Senate Bill 281, which basically turns once law-abiding citizens and the uh, criminals subject to the treatment that are due to rapists and child molesters. It's an absolute joke what happened today. Uh, there was two streams. I think one of them was on the Maryland legislature's, uh, well, whatever, the state page, the Maryland state page or whatever. There was a stream on there and there was a guy doing a stream from the audience on Ustream. Now, I knew we were fucked today when uh, Delegate Schmeagel offered an amendment to uh, actually prosecute criminals that commit crimes with guns, not give them any good time and make them do the whole time, the whole sentence. The the amendment passed and then you see, I think it was either a, a it was I think it looked like a police officer came up and told the uh person live streaming for the state to cut the live stream so i saw that happen i was like what the fuck so i went over to the Ustream one and i proceed to watch this guy tell all the democrats that o'malley wants them to vote no for the amendment and then go up and then he goes up to the uh chairman and tells him to recall the vote and then they recall the vote and it doesn't pass like and th this fucking piece of shit O'Malley is saying these are common sense measures that 80% of Marylanders support. Well, don't you think s some common sense would be to have somebody write some legislation that knows something about firearms instead of having a person that's never even shot a gun in his life write legislation? Or... How about actually prosecuting the people that fucking commit crimes? No, I mean, no wonder there's three, almost 300 and some murders in Baltimore every year. A motherfucker can kill somebody and go to jail and be out and get, get 10 or 15 years and be out in two and a half years. That's why these people don't give a fucking shit about killing people. They kill people, go to jail, get to live on our dollar, our, our, our dollar for a couple years and get out healthy and everything else and go right back to work. It's a fucking joke. And I go, you know, I don't know what these Democrats are thinking in the legislature. Like any future they have is ruined. You think anybody in Maryland is ever going to vote for a single one of them again? Like, these people have let O'Malley basically lead them to the gallows. You know, I hope, I hope we can get our state back. If we get our state back, they should be charged with treason. Like, this is a fucking shame. An absolute fucking shame. But at, at least they did get one amendment passed saying that if you order... A firearm before October 1st, you can still take possession of it even if you can't get it, If even if it's not delivered by October 1st. So that that is one good thing. I'll be ordering, I think it's a, I think the law is a gun a month. I'll be ordering a gun a month from now until October. So, I, I, it, it's just, it's an absolute fucking shame. Hmm. At least I know in 2014 we'll get we'll get some some more good people on the uh, on the uh, in the Senate and in the legislature because there ain't gonna be no one offering fucking people free phones to go vote for somebody with a D next to their name this year or next year. But yeah, I mean this is, it, it's a fucking joke. But yeah, all right, bill passed 2819. Now I'm out. Please drop by and leave my page a like. And I'm out. Peace. Well, actually, and you can go, uh,
to my petition on uh, change.org. We in Maryland are under... <laughs> We in Maryland are under attack from the liberal Democrats in Annapolis on a daily basis. Everything they have done so far this year has been to the benefit of criminals and illegal aliens. Meanwhile, they think they can tell us what kind of weapon and how many bullets are good enough for us to defend our lives and our families. All the while, they are releasing violent criminals from prison after only doing a fraction of their time. After the liberal Democrats in Annapolis passed a 65% tax Per gallon of gas, I have finally realized that the, that the liberals in Annapolis are nothing more than O'Malley's personal tax rapists and will stop at nothing until we are all broke. <laughs> mm. But yeah, alright, I'm out. Again.